Hello, I'm Rhonda Schaefer with Action Home Business. Thank you for watching today. Today's topic is about what to do if you're not getting the results you want from your ads. Here are 11 reasons why. Number one, no offer. Offers are what motivate you and me, and we all like a deal. It's an intricate dance of business, so make an offer to entice. If I want your offer, I will give you my contact details. No offer, no enticement, no carrot, no reason to give you my contact information. It doesn't matter if your ad is a landing page, an email a newsletter, an opt-in box, a popover, or a website. Include an offer and enticement. Number two, a misleading or deceptive headline. Don't offer a free Xbox on your landing page and then redirect people to a site about your book on poetry. They are not related. There's no connection. So don't start a potential business relationship with dishonesty. Make an offer, then take people to what you offered or give it up. Be clever and truthful in your ad copy, not deceptive. Number three, you don't have a headline. Headlines are what grab people by the collar and say, look at this. The best headlines speak directly to the viewer. They make an offer, give reasons to keep reading, and peak interest. Your goal in posting ads is to get the lead, and it all starts with a catchy headline. Number four, the ad has misspellings or is grammatically incorrect. Some misspellings are intentional, others are not. So proofread your ads to start with the best possible impression. Number five, the URL doesn't work. Test your website, test again. Links in your offers, you'd be shocked at how often advertisers post invalid or incorrect links. What a waste of money. You're flushing your ad dollars right down the toilet every time a lead clicks on a dead link. Number six, words in your email newsletter trigger spam filters. In email offers, avoid words like money, guaranteed, or any words that are vulgar or offensive. Filters will send them straight to the junk folder. So don't water down your copy by completely avoiding obvious spam trigger words like free, but do try to use alternative words in subject lines for email marketing. If your posts or emails are are being sent right to spam, then your click rate will obviously be zero. And if no one gets your email, nobody sees your offer, no matter how well it's written. There is a solution though in number 11, and we'll get to that later. So number seven is no opt-in at all. So if you don't have an opt-in form on your landing pages, you're losing list building opportunities. If your prospect gets your email or sees your offer in a safe list, they may not want what you have right now, but they may be willing to receive information, a free ebook, further details, and so forth. Make a great, no risk, no obligation offer and get the lead. Build your list one person at a time, not by buying a subscriber list that may be email duds or bot generated. Number eight, use a sales page when a lead page is better. There's a time and a place for a sales page. There's also a time and a place for a lead page. If you're using safe lists, exchanges, and solo ads, post lead pages, not sales pages. Send me an email if you are unsure of the difference. Number nine, not targeted. If your ad is meant to be seen 
by pet groomers in Saskatchewan, Canada. Do your best to make sure that's who sees your ad. A customer recently set up a Facebook ad campaign and opened it up to all of the USA. The problem was that he could only sell his product within Canada. So if you're not targeting your buyer or your avatar, uh, you won't get buys. Number 10, all about you and not the reader. People want to know instantly the benefits you have to offer to them. Life is busy, get to the point. If you are offering a free $25 gift card, that's your headline. Get a free $25 gift card. This invites a click. That is much, much better than our company is amazing. We offer all kinds of stuff, including gift cards when you sign up. This headline really puts them to sleep. Talk to me in your ads. To me personally, talk to me directly. I'm a me, one person, not a crowd of somebodies. So trim and tweak your ad copy, whittle it down to the fewest number of words that say the most. And number 11, not using certified email delivery services. Email providers have filters for good reason to weed out spam and mass junk email. The problem is that in doing so, it often means good legitimate email from you end up in a junk folder. There is a solution for this. Certified email delivery services will help you get more of your email into your inboxes. Um, so that's where you want them. With that said, this is Rhonda Schaefer with Action Home Business. If you have any questions or want more information, comment below and I will get back to you. Good day.